FC, the newly crowned world champion, the newly crowned world record holder, Toby Amazon. Bridget Foster Hilton, I remember watching that great race in Melbourne. She's a fine, fine champion. Took the gold in Berlin, I think, a few years later. But that game's record, I suspect, is about to be smashed by the woman in your screen. She's not the only world-class hurdler in here. Five women from that extraordinary set of semi-finals. Amazon got the world record. Four others broke PBs or national records. It was an extraordinary day in Eugene. What an opportunity for Amazan. They're all prowling around, getting themselves ready. Now it looks like it's almost full here. This is the official lineup then for the final of the women's 100 metre hurdles. What a showdown. All eyes on Toby Amazan in five. But Tapper on her inside in four. Charlton in seven. And Williams of Jamaica on the outside in eight, the former world champion, could also feature. And as we know, in the sprint hurdles, anything can happen. Being the favourite doesn't necessarily mean you're going to make it to the finish line. To the first of two Australians then, Celeste Mucci, Oceanian champion. Her father was a world-class volleyball player, second in the national champs. She's only 22. Big stage for her. It is absolutely packed now. Michelle Harrison. World Championship semi-finalist indoors and out this year. Ran a windy 12.85 in the semi-finals to make it into this, the biggest race of her life. Cindy Semba, great to see her back to form, the English woman. Semis in Doha, semis in Tokyo, and a national record en route to the final in which she finished fifth in Eugene. Megan Tapper. A tiny figure with huge ability. Watch for her technical prowess. Pan American bronze and an Olympic bronze and lightning quick at her best. Now to the favorite, African champion, world champion, world record holder and defending Commonwealth champion. Toby Amazan was the toast of Nigeria in Eugene. Will she be so again today? 12-12, that world record. Michelle Jenica is always bobbling, always bouncing and always smiling. Twice she's been ever so close to a medal in the Com Games. Fifth in Glasgow, fourth on the Gold Coast. Devon Charlton. No Bahamian woman has ever won a medal in this event, which is quite surprising. She had a national record in that semi-final. Eventually finished seventh behind Amazon in the fastest race we've ever seen. Danielle Williams, a world champion in Beijing in 2015. She got a silver behind Amazon four years ago and was sixth in the world championship final. No Eugene world champion has arrived here in Birmingham and delivered gold. Is that about to change? Well, Rob, the strength of this field underlines the strength of Commonwealth hurdling. Four finalists from Eugene go in this field. And uh, Toby Amazan, I wonder how well she's recovered all the celebrations. It was exactly two weeks ago today that world, that uh, final. Mucci, Australia one. Harrison, Canada two. Semba, England three. Tapa, Jamaica four. Amazan, Nigeria five. Jenica, Australia six. Charlton, Bahamas seven. Williams, Jamaica in lane eight. This could be very, very fast. Final, the women's 100 meter hurdles. The world record holder, the defending champion, Set. goes in five. Watch for Amazan, she's fourth from the left-hand side. Tapper's got away well and Amazan's under a little bit of pressure. Now beginning to pull away the world champion, the world record holder. She's on her way to a successful title defense. Sembers on the podium and so too Charlton of Bahamas. Their first medal, 12.129. Cometh the hour, cometh the champion. It's a successful title defence and a games record by a country mile. Amazan is on fire this season and she has forgotten how to lose. Brilliant by the Nigerian, simply brilliant.
Well, 12.29 is special. Anything under 12.3, super fast. Only a handful of women in history have gone quicker than that. And the wind, it was minus 0.2. Wasn't helpful. It would have been around plus one, plus one and a half. She'd have loved that, I think. Great racing. Such coolness under pressure there from Amazon. I'll tell you what, it's not always easy to shoulder the burden of expectation. Devon Charlton there, 12.58 for the silver. 1-100 the head of Simbi Semba of England. But Amuzan, as expected, a, a class apart, Rob, with that game's record. And so, you know what she does? She builds her racing really well. She wasn't really much ahead over the first three or four flights, but it's just the, the impetus she builds through those fourth, fifth, sixth flights that takes her away from the rest. And she won by a big margin. I was really impressed with that run because Tapper, to her right, fourth from the right got a brilliant start the tiny jamaican is so good when she gets it right but now amazon began to pull away she didn't panic after seeing the jamaican in her peripheral vision charlton on the near side creates a little bit of history for the bahamas and an excellent run by cindy semba you thought she might run well after her windy 12.3 in eugene but that was a brilliant title defense by amazon the world champion is the Commonwealth champion. And she's now being interviewed in the stadium and she will be getting a huge roar when she finishes. That was absolutely superb. Under pressure on the first hurdle and she delivered in style. This backs up a world record for me, that 12-12 in Eugene on a quicker track. That was such a fast time, 12.30 seconds off a not particularly great first two or three hurdles was it Tim she didn't get out the best she was under pressure as, as Rob said but 12.30 seconds into a slight headwind really really equates to a 12.12 world record and Nigeria have won six medals here and they've all been from the women and that is number seven good running I think you're right Cal that's a good point I mean I said she wasn't that far ahead really over the first three flights or so in fact Megan Tapper held her for the first two or three here she begins to hit hurdle three begins to get away and this is where she maintains her form really quick between the barriers such a crisp neat hurdling technique and it just drags her clear over the second half that is her strength really is the sort of the growing momentum she builds Jenica had a good run, fifth place for the Australian there, 12.68 behind Tapper, 12.67. The place times are very, very strong indeed. Sixth place, Danielle Williams, 12.69. Great running by Amazon. I fully expect her to be drafted into the Nigerian 4x1 squad. Really good stuff. The world record holder, the world champion, and a successful title defence here in Birmingham. What a season. Toby Amazan delivers one of the most impressive performances of the whole week here at the Alexander Stadium. Devon Charlton takes silver, the first Bahamian woman on the podium in this event. And Cindy Semba, a fabulous bronze for her. Tapper of Jamaica, despite that fast start, misses out.